Hello, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Please listen carefully. Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust of it. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. I want you to know that there is absolutely nothing in the gospel of Jesus Christ that promises you the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, or the pride of life. The gospel of Jesus Christ does not promise anyone the things of this world. Jesus didn't die on the cross to get you a new car, to get you a bigger house, to get you more money in the bank. He died on the cross for one reason, to pay for your sins so that you would not have to go to hell. But there is a movement today a satanic movement today that promises you these things that God forbids. And it's called the Word of Faith movement. The Word of Faith message is from the devil. It is the devil's attempt to put a Christian spin on his same old methods, his same old lies. And when you talk about the Word of Faith movement and their lies, you can start with the common teaching that they brashly proclaim, which is that people are gods. Same old lie used by the devil with Eve in the Garden of Eden when he promised her that if she would bow to him and disobey God, she could be like God. Same old lie he uses in his pseudo-Christian cult religion of Mormonism, which teaches that men can be gods. Same old lie he uses in the New Age movement as they boldly proclaim, I'm God. Same old lie, same old lie. But the Word of Faith movement isn't limited to just that one blasphemous teaching. There's much more. The Word of Faith teaches that all of your earthly, materialistic, physical desires can be yours. All of your materialistic dreams of money, new cars, nicer house, maybe several houses, maybe even a jet, perfect health and healing can all be yours if you bow before them and you send them your money. And of course, if you only believe hard enough. Because you know, they teach. You can create your own reality by confessing what you want. You're a God. You're a God, so you can call into existence whatever you want, just like God spoke the world into existence. You can do the same thing. That is devilish, that is demonic, that is witchcraft, with a twisting of the scriptures, to deceive those who want to be Christians without really being a follower of Jesus Christ and the Word of God. It is satanic all the way. It is his latest attempt to do the same old thing. Satan's methods have always been to offer people the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. It worked well with Eve in the Garden of Eden. He tried it with Jesus during his temptation in the wilderness by saying, bow to me, and you can have food. You can satisfy your great hunger, lust of the flesh. I can give it to you. Bow to me, and you can have all the kingdoms of the world. You can have it the easy way, without the cross. And bow to me, and you can have the accolades of all the people. Satisfy all your physical desires, Jesus. I offer them all to you. And he's doing the same thing today. Do you see what I'm saying? Has it sunk in? The word of faith movement isn't anything new. It's just the latest attempt by the devil to do the same old thing, and it works very well because we are living in a time that God said would come. It's a time when men would not endure sound doctrine, but would instead gather to themselves men having itching ears telling them what their sin nature craves to hear instead of the truth. It has come to pass as God said it would. Men are lovers of self, and covetous. For more of God's Word, go to the Bible verse by verse dot com.